Pekalang Kobo is located in Tumpat, which is second after Kota Baru with the highest number of dengue fever in the state. Last week, the constituency recorded 971 dengue cases. Now, efforts are being carried out to ensure the number of cases drop and prevent more people becoming victim to dengue. One of the initiatives is the Let's Curb Aegis program, launched by Deputy Health Minister Datuk Sri Dr. Hilmi Yahya in Kampung Simpangan today. The program is aimed at encouraging residents to clean their surroundings from any Aedes mosquitoes breeding grounds. This is because Kampung Sipangan is one of the worst dengue hit areas in the constituency with 19 cases recorded. BN's candidate in the Pengkalan Kubo by-election, Mat Razin Mat Ail, also joined the residents during the program. Di rumah dia dan juga keliling dia dan kampung dia, ya, kena jaga. Bukan kampung saja, di bandar pun begitu juga masalah. Uh, saya tengok di, di, di Kota Baru tu ada rumah besar ni. Dia ada longkang, tapi longkang ni tak pergi ke mana. Eh? Dia tak ada longkang sambung. Tak ada longkang sambung. Jadi, air tu bertakung situ, air tu jadi tempat biar nyamuk. Jadi, masalah infrastruktur sebenarnya. Masalah, masalah, masalah kebersihan dan masalah infrastruktur. Longkang tak lengkap. About 300 people took part in today's Jom Ganyang Edis program aimed at creating awareness and knowledge about the danger of this deadly virus. This is a sort of program that should be conducted regularly in order to curb the spread of this deadly virus, especially in places like this. Shawal Ahmad, 7 edition.